What's up? What's up? Welcome to Mad House Pro. I'm in the building. If you don't like it, you can get out because it's my building. So today, real quick, we're gonna go with VSTs. Uh, this is what this will be a quick video because I got somewhere to be. But guess what? I'm gonna do it. Hey, so um, as you know, Simply to I have to use FL Studio SEO. We will kick this off real quick. Uh, we're gonna do a new new uh, project. Uh, no specific name. Because what we're going over today is called VSTs. Uh, somebody asked about the support for VSTs. Yes, they do. That's how it operates in the DAW. So, but um, let's get into it. So I'm going to get rid of the mixer uh, just to help this out. So uh, VSTs, what are they? I'm going to hit I on the keyboard, right? So I, we're going to go to system options. Let's go down. We're going to scroll down here to what say VST and rewire. I think I do rewire one day too because that's pretty neat. Uh, I learned that one a while back. So VSTs, what are they? They're virtual instruments. That's what they do. They uh, plug in into your DAW of choice and you utilize them to create music. They come with sounds and that's what you want. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, uh, so much of MIDI, as I would say. Uh, which is Musical Instrument Device Interface, MIDI, MIDI, MIDI. Uh, so right here, as you can see, these are three folders that I have, right? Uh, when I click Scan, and it's going to scan VST folders, right? Sometimes you can see which folder they're scanning, and I'm going to show you where they're at. And um, they put them all different places when you install a new VST. So uh, I got a ton of them. I'm going to get some new ones, and uh, we're going to have fun. So, all right, so they scanned them, right? You click OK. Um, in your system, depending on what you get, uh, doo -doo -doo -doo, I'm going to bring this over here for you guys in a minute. I just want to make sure they ain't showing nothing crazy. So, all right, so we're going to come over here, right? Um, if you look, Program Files. You got three of them, program files, which is your 64-bit files. And then you got your uh, 86, which are your 32-bit. And this one, this one was created. Maybe I was doing something, but there's nothing there. So let's go to program files because most systems are 64-bit today, 64-bit. So when you open up your 64-bit folder, program files, you want to scroll down to your VST, right? It's called VST plugins or VST. Or both. You you could even create one. So we should go with VSTs, right? I created this folder. Here's the the file. Program files VST. Plugin boutique. Carbon Electra. That's a VST, which we'll open up in a minute. So we're gonna click program files right here. Let's go to VST plugins. Now here are the dot DLLs or dynamic libraries. These are it right here, right? This is where you put. Uh, a .dll file so that it will scan in your system folder. So if you can see, I got uh, BK Master Desk, Somatics Origin, uh, Arvin Sounds, the Gray Line, Fab Filter. So this is where you put them, but this is only one folder. Um, I think the other folder is common. Let me see your user. Mm, it's not gonna come up. Uh, let's see. You could go through this stuff. I got heat up, initial audio. I got a lot of stuff on here. So, uh, common files. Here you go. Here go another one. Users, public. Uh, this is another location that scanned for some reason when um, you check in. Uh, you can see Magic's right here. Tone Empire rolling. These are some of the files that, that get checked for. Synth Master, audio things. You know, they put them in different places on your C drive. So once you do your scan, you come here and um, it say add plugin, plugin browser, which is a magic thing. I like the way they do it. Or you could go by effects right here, or you could go by instruments. If you go by instruments, uh, you click that, all these come with magic. So you be like, all right, magic, that's dope. But then you got other folders that are your VST file folders, right? You still get magics, independence, even though it comes with pros, uh, Simple 2 Pro X7. I also purchased it so I could use it in FL Studio. But um, here's my wave files. I'm a subscriber to Waves. These are their uh, all the other stuff that come with it. 
So you got the VST3s and the VST2s. From my understanding, VST3s are more flexible than the tools. The tools are kind of, they say outdated, but they still work. I mean, I haven't seen a huge, huge difference yet. Uh, I haven't really looked deep down into them. So you'll probably get double uh, VSTs. They send them out in VST2 and VST3. Uh, here go more of my VSTs, Ascension, Cherry Audio, which was from a Magic thing I just recently got. got. Clap Lab, see this is a 32-bit system right here. Uh, Drum Pro, it was free, I like it. Uh, Drum Pro and Clap Lab are the same thing. So if I click this one, y'all see that right, Drum Pro, right? So I'm going to go down one more, and we're going to plug in Browser, Instruments, VST, uh, we're going to do Clap Lab. It still say Drum Pro 32. Same thing. It should have been 164, 132. Same thing. It's a free one, right? Uh, we're going to go through the rest of them. Just a little bit. Not all of them. Uh, effects, right? Let's look at effects. Uh, magics. Uh, these are the ones that come with the system. And then... Your VST folder, your uh, third-party VSTs that work, such as Waves. You see, look, the API 2500 Mono. It's a compressor. You could use that on your track. So um, what else can we do? Um, we, we could just keep continue to add on, right? So instruments. Uh, one thing I do is sometimes I go by vendors. So you click instruments. You could do location, which are your folders. You could go by vendors. Uh category I never really used but look 808 studio let's open that one I got that from um one of them companies <laughs> you know I'm a VST buying guy so uh but um it's a lot of stuff out here y'all VSTs get them uh, try some different new. See, they they even got it broken down, like we say, by category mastering. If I want to master, they got some stuff in here. Well, I got some stuff that I didn't purchase that I could utilize. You know, uh, that helps people to kind of navigate differently for those who want. If you want to go buy a guitar, uh, they got different VSTs. They got them category, got them categorized correctly or right for. Uh, the people to listen to and utilize. So, um, but me, usually I use Vendor, Isotope, uh, KV, uh, Mixed In Key. You know, it's a lot of stuff. Native Instruments, which, uh, let's go to the instruments. I'm going to go on this real quick and let me see. Time check. Yes, yeah, about time for me to go. Uh, I went to Native. We're going to go to Sunnerbox. Uh, I bought this one. Uh, and it reminded me of another one I had from Son of Vox that doesn't work anymore. Uh, drum Pro. So uh, you can turn that off by hitting the little speaker. That's pretty dope. I like that one. But, uh... Yeah, so it's a lot of VSTs out here. So VSTs are usually third-party plugins or native, meaning native would be the instruments or the VST that came with your DAW. So um, if I was using, we'll say, FL Studio, which I do got some of those drivers, uh, I mean VST, so we go to plugin, right? We go to instruments, we go by vendor, uh, which is image line fl studios image line so when i click this this will show me all the fl studio vsts that i could use such as morphine poison <laughs> sour secure uh let's look at citrus and then those fl studio use like yeah yo i got that yeah that's cool <laughs> work seamlessly uh, so I mean it's just a lot of stuff so VSTs are cool they use use them use them uh, I'm not getting paid for this but uh, let me see I'm gonna just go down the list of uh, JDSR sounds 
I click this one. Uh, oh, it came. This is one site uh, that I use. ADSR Sounds is a good site to get VSTs from. Uh, another one is. Oh, I forgot about Plugin Alliance is another one. Uh, you could go in here and get VSTs. Dopeness. See, they even give out free stuff. Uh, let me see. Another one. Plugin Boutique. If I spell it right. Plugin Boutique is another one. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Mm, you could go there to get new VSTs. Uh, oh, I got another one. This, this is one of my... Uh, Here we go. Uh, audio plug-in deals. This is a sleeper, y'all. You go here, you can get a lot of stuff. You know, uh, this is one of my primary joints right here. I use them because I get different VSTs. You know, most people, you get some of the, you can get some of the same stuff, but it's to me, it's just different VSTs that usually break the same. And they be looking, where you get that sound from? Where you get that audio plug-in deals? You know, and I have to explain to them. Um, this is one, and I think. Uh, what's the bell out one? They always bail you out too. Uh, I did plug in boutique, plug in alliance. Uh dang y'all, it's one more. Oh my goodness, it's on I did ADSR sounds. I think I did them all. I, I got a couple of other ones, but one day I'll do a rundown of the list to where to get BSTs. Uh of course, uh Waves.com, you can go there get them. They got a ton of stuff up in here. This is just like, they bundles and stuff is good. Very, very good. Uh, then you can still, you got native instruments, right? Just you want new sounds and they just got what? Complete 14? I'm like, I just spent like $1,500 on their whole latest deal. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> now they got a new one. So I'm about to, Maybe it's been about two years, probably, uh, to each his own. Uh, use what you can, but for sounds, man, just mix them, right? I got citrus right here. I could go to, uh, yeah, I got to go, y'all. Uh, last one, uh, Native Instruments. Like I said, I was meant to open that. Uh, and we'll just say contact in general. Contact has, it could get you an all-in-one type deal. You know what I'm saying? all-in-one type deal when you go here when you go to my libraries man they got instruments beyond instruments if you bought the whole pack and as you can see they got the new one out so now all this change or adds on so uh you just got to look at see what's out there but vsts they are important they help you create your sounds you need try them i say over and over try them mix and match Mix and match, and I'm not getting no sound on this one. That could tell me all the time because I like potato chips. Let's see. Oh, because it's loading right here. Y'all see that? The loading of the VST so the sounds can be heard. I was playing some sounds earlier, y'all. I'm not getting nothing. Uh, try one more. Let's do the drummer, and I don't use the drummer joint, and then I'm gonna have to get out of here, y'all. See, I got this on another drive, too. That's why it's taking so long. It took about, I wanna say, two terabytes. There we go. Anyway. But hey guys, hey, this is Madhouse Pro. Thank y'all. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you don't like it, it's my building. You could get out. <laughs> but I'll see y'all on the next time. Peace.